In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an employee satisfaction survey form just like this. So without wasting further time, let's get started with the step-by-step -step tutorial. Having open Word, the first thing I do is enter a title for my template. And I'm going to call it Employee Satisfaction Survey. Hit enter. Next, I go over to Insert, Table, and I'm going to go ahead and insert, and I'm going to go ahead and insert a single cell table. So it's just going to be one column, one row. I click on it to insert. I already have my text copy to the clipboard. I'll just go ahead and paste it in. I exit out of this table. I hit enter. I go over to insert again, table. Then I click on insert table. This time around, I'm going to insert a table of five columns and then the number of rows will be three. I click on OK to insert. With the first row, I'll highlight everything. Then I go over to layout. I click on merge cells so that I have a single cell. In here, I just go ahead and enter my text. And it's going to be how long have you been with our agency? Since my employee satisfaction survey form is going to be based on a web design agency. Next, I enter the various years. So the first one will be less than one year. The next one, I have one to two years, followed by three to five. Next is six to ten. And then finally, ten plus years. I'm going to be adding checkboxes here, and I'll be doing that later on. I exit from this table, and I hit enter. Next, I go over to insert, and I'm going to insert another table. The columns is going to be seven, and then the rows, I enter 11. Then I click on OK to insert the table. The first row, I'm going to go ahead and highlight it. Then I go over to layout, then I click on merge cells. Next, I enter in my text, which I've already copied to the clipboard. Please read your satisfaction with the following aspects of your experience as an employee at our agency. Down here in the first cell, I have scale. And in the next coming cells is where I enter the various ratings. With the first one being extremely dissatisfied. Dissatisfied followed by neutral. Satisfied. Extremely satisfied. And finally not applicable. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and enter the various questions in this column that is under scale for this demonstration i'll be entering nine questions right here so i'll go ahead and enter them quickly and get back to you all right i've entered the various questions i want to add as you can see and in these cells i'm going to be adding check boxes and i'll be doing that later on next i exit out of this table hit enter next i go over to insert and i'm going to go ahead and click on insert table the number of columns I enter 11 and the number of rows will be 2. I click on OK. For these two cells, I'm going to highlight them. Then I go over to layout. I click on merge cells and I go ahead and enter in my text, which I've already copied to the clipboard. I hit enter. Then I go ahead and enter in my scale. So I have extremely unlikely, which is going to be 1. So 1 will be equal to extremely unlikely comma and then 10 will be equal to extremely likely and this is where i enter the scale so i'll just enter 1 to 10. awesome and now i've created all the tables i want for my employee satisfaction survey now it's time to format it the first thing i want to do is go over to layout the margins i change it to narrow maybe i could have done it before starting the form next thing i want to do is select all my text then i go over to home the font size i'm going to go ahead and choose 10. it should be noted that i have two pages but we don't need it to be in two pages even though it doesn't really matter the number of pages you have the most important thing is have all the parameters you need for your survey form next I'll highlight this heading and I'm going to go ahead and make it bold and also center it. Maybe I can increase the size to 12. Next, I select this table, just click inside it. 
then I go over to layout. Then from here, I click on auto fit to window. I can also do that right here. I select it auto fit window and I'll do the same thing to the rest of the tables. Perfect. The next thing I'm going to do is apply some background colors to my heading so that they will stand out. So the first one here, I'll just select the cell. Then I go over to table design. And the shading, I'm going to go ahead and choose this color. Next, I highlight the whole of this and maybe I'll choose a darker color. This will do. Next, I go over to layout and I'm going to go ahead and align them to the center. I do the same thing for these empty cells so that later on when we add our controls, they will be aligned to the center. So similarly, I will go ahead and apply the background colors to the rest of my tables. All right, I've applied the colors throughout. Next, I'm going to go ahead and adjust my columns. So I'll start with this. I'll just hold it like this. Then I'll move it this way. I'll fast forward this. All right, I've adjusted all the columns. The next thing I do is highlight the whole of this. And I'm going to go ahead and align it center left. I'll highlight the empty boxes here or the cells here. Then I'll align it to center. And what I'm going to do is increase the height like this to 1.5 centimeters. Similarly, I do the same thing here. Maybe I can increase the heading to 20 and I'll create some space here. Perfect. So now it's time to add our checkboxes. What I need to do is click on the very first cell. Then I come over to the developer tab. If you don't have this developer tab, you can just go ahead and right click on any part of your ribbon like this. Then click on customize the ribbon right here. You see that I have developer tab enabled. In your case, you just go ahead and enable it. Then you click on OK and you will have it right here. So I click on it. Under the controls group, I have checkbox right here. I'll just click on it to insert it. Similarly, I do the same thing right here. If you don't want to insert it one by one, you can also copy it. Then you go ahead and paste in the rest of the cells. So I'll just paste them quickly and get back to you. All right, I've pasted them throughout my form, as you can see right here. And now I'm done with my employee satisfaction survey form. Perfect. So that's it on how you can create an employee satisfaction survey form. I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly click on the like button, subscribe if you are new here, and also enable the notification bell so that you don't miss our future videos. Now, if you want to improve productivity without creating this form by yourself, I'll have a link to it in the description down below. You can just go ahead and download it. In the meantime, stick around to watch a related tutorial from the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.